What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you a really cool trick with Discord to get live countdowns to certain things happening in chat. Your messages will practically dynamically update as time progresses. Let me show you what I mean. If I pull up my Discord over here and post, for example, the current time, it looks something like this. This is just a static bit of time and hovering over it, it tells us more information about it. For example, the current date in a different format here, then for example, a countdown to Christmas. In five months, hovering over this, it'll tell us 25th of December and midnight. Something a bit closer, next week Friday is in six days. Even closer than that, eight o'clock tonight is in seven hours. And as time progresses, these messages will update too, or at least these dynamic ones down here. For example, one o'clock was 17 minutes ago for me, and in a minute's time, this should change to 18 without any manual editing, etc. There you go, 18 minutes ago. So these update dynamically as time goes by, hovering over them gives extra info, and these can be really useful tools if you're posting announcements, countdowns, etc., and you don't want to rely on a bot to edit a message, update a countdown, etc. This is a pretty cool little tool, and even continues to provide information into the past for events, for example, 11 o'clock was two hours ago. Pretty cool. But how exactly do we do these? Well, it's a really useful little trick built into Discord. All we need to do is inside of angle brackets as such, type T colon, followed by a Unix timestamp, which is essentially a representation of time in seconds since January 1st, 1970, and literally always counts up. So for example, the current time we could just place in here, followed by another colon and a bit of format information. All we need to do is enter one character in order to get these specific formats right above based on whatever timestamp we put in. There's a super useful website that you'll find linked down below called Hammer Time. And here you can simply pick a date and time up at the very top here, then a time zone, assuming you want something else other than your own time zone. And it'll give you a bunch of information right below it that dynamically updates as time goes and shows you exactly what each bit of chat syntax will look like as a result here. These top ones here are static for the most part. It's only really this one down here with a capital R next to it that seems to update as time goes by. This is what I'm using in most cases in order to show you how many seconds ago, minutes ago, hours, days, etc. And this goes into the future as well. If we choose, for example, the 15th of July, click the tick, it'll tell us it's been a day, etc. So after we've entered our Unix timestamp, we can follow it with lowercase d or uppercase d, lowercase t, uppercase t, lowercase f, uppercase f, or capital R. That'll give us all of these different formats here, with the capital R being a dynamic countdown and count up based on whatever time you put in. So if I entered a capital R here, it'll tell you exactly how long ago talked about typing out your own message. That just goes to show that it is a live count down or count up, and it's a really nifty little feature to know about. If you're someone who's gonna make a lot of announcements, countdowns, etc., this website will be invaluable to you, especially this one over here. And of course, if you don't wanna use a website, you can just enter the Unix timestamp, colon capital R, and you'll have yourself a countdown built into Discord just like that. It really is super easy, and it's a pretty cool feature that I didn't actually know about up until yesterday. And yes, you can even use these in your own user of profiles such as over here. If I disable streamer mode and edit my profile here, edit server profile, and in the about me put something like, I don't know, happy birthday, followed by the timestamp, you'll see after saving it and opening my user profile, it counts down to a special day. It's pretty cool that you can put this practically anywhere you want and it'll work pretty much the same with a live countdown or count up. And of course, hovering for even more information. It's a cool little trick. But anyways, that's really it for this super quick video. So thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.